Hello there and welcome to another one of Arbiter's Gary's Mod Tutorials. Um, before we begin today, I'd like to get a few things out in the open. Um, I seem to have gathered a few subscribers on YouTube, which I'm very pleased with. So to those of you who are watching, um, thank you. You're obviously the reason I do this, I'm not doing this for my own purpose. So, thank you for following. Secondly, um, I haven't slept in over 24 hours, and so I might be a bit crazy today. But it's okay, because today we're covering wire hoverball, something that has plagued my existence for a long time. So, I will show you, to begin with, the easiest of things to do with wire hover balls. So I'll just spawn one here, I've got a movement speed of 1, air resistance of 1, and strength of 10. Uh, that's all pretty much irrelevant because of what I'm about to show you. You can see there that the hover ball's pretty much floating. <coughs> but if I was to create a button that was toggleable, not between those values however, 1 and 0. Oh, also, actually I don't need to tell you that. Oh, anyway, my sound card is essentially buggered. I got a new one, and the mic on that is terrible, so I'm still having to use the old integrated one, which is broken, but still has a working microphone feature, which is why I only come through on one channel, which is the right speaker. Anyway, so... Oh, I don't know why I told you that, because now I've forgotten what I was doing. Urgh, I'm so stupid sometimes. Right. The hoverball has three inputs. It has Z velocity, uh, hover mode, which is wired up to this toggle button here, and set Z target. Now, all hover mode does, if I was to unfreeze this, well, basically it toggles the hover ball on or off. So there it's on, as you can see it's floating, and now it's off, and it's just bouncing about because that's what it does. Now, <coughs> there's the problem I was had with hover balls was that if you were to, let's say, spawn in, well, a screen, is that the hoverball always has its own output as well, and it can output X, Y, and Z coordinates. So I always had it outputting its Z coordinates. If we show it, there we go, see? So that's the Z coordinate of the hoverball. And what I was always trying to do was say that the hoverball was on this platform, was to take in the value that it was at, and then subtract a plus based on an accumulator, and it would, it would always mess up because once it gained momentum, it would always move, it was perpetual motion, because it was always taking in the value of itself, which was constantly changing, which was then making it go faster, and it would all mess up. So, to sh illustrate the kind of thing that happens here, uh, to, to show you what, what, what I mean, uh, I was born a GPS. As you can see, the GPS has a Z coordinate of about 59. So, we're going to set this... Um, set Z target to the Z target of the GPS. And that means that wherever this GPS is on the world, the hoverball will go to the same height. As we can so there, there we go. It sort of moves up and down. Now obviously as I've just explained, that can come with a lot of problems. So the way you're supposed to do it, which I figured out today with the almighty knowledge that it is Z velocity and not just velocity <coughs> because I originally thought the velocity would just set the speed at which it moves to the Z to, to the set Z target much like a hover drive but obviously if it goes up and down and doesn't jump places but no it basically sets the velocity at which it moves along the Z axis so obviously if it, if it received a positive velocity it would move up the Z axis and if it received a negative velocity it would move down the Z axis I don't know why I'm pointing you can't see me right so, we're going to have an AND gate, and that's to deal with two values, as with most cases. And um, we're going to spawn that there. And then we need two buttons. So, button one is to go up, which is that button. That's left. Oh, well. If I stand here. And then down. And that's going to be negative one. Okay. And I'm going to spawn. I'm going to spawn that there. So, uh, A is obviously 1, and B is negative 1. So when I press these, they'll just go to the AND gate and output. Obviously, you get it by now. And all we have to do is wire Z velocity to this AD gate. And then, when we press up... Oh, unfreeze it. 
the hover ball goes up and stays there. And then we press down, the hover ball comes down, up, and then down. And that's essentially it. What you could do as an alternative is to increase the input power. So let's say minus 5 and plus 5, of course. So then it should hopefully move a lot faster. And there you go, it's further in the air for a less period of time and then back down. And it, it's just much, much quicker. So obviously the velocity that receives the value determines how quickly it moves along the z-axis, which is how you're supposed to make which how you're supposed to make it go up and down, not by setting z target. Now, to show you a bit of a practical implication of what we can do here, I'm gonna spawn my well, you should all recognise this by now. It's basically the advanced pod vehicle we've made. It's got a few modifications because this is my own that I've got advanced duped, which is basically a light on the front for dark maps and a few extra thrusters for a bit of extra speed. Now, it's got it's got normal hover balls on at the moment, so let's just get rid of those. Uh, and then I will create normal hover balls. I mean, why are hover balls not normal ones? My bad. Okay. <sighs> okay. Now, as with left and right and forwards and backwards, we obviously need a something to make go up and down. And of course, it'll be the exact same thing that we normally do. So we're going to have an arithmetic add, and we're going to have an arithmetic negate gate. Negate gate, the gate not the gates. Also, fun fact, this is like the fifth time I've made this movie because obviously I've been fiddling on with my sound card. Okay, um, to go down because this is, neg this is the negate gate, I'm going to use mouse 2, and to go up, I'm going to be using mouse 1. Right, and then obviously with the add gate, it's, it's that value plus the negate. Now all you need to do is set Z velocity to these, the add gate. And then once I'm done, if I was to climb aboard my ship and start flying about, I'll put the camera on. If I was to press mouse one, then we're going up, and if I press mouse two, we're going down. And that's that's hoverballs. Now obviously you can create a bit more of a better experience with this with some um, with a multiplier obviously because advanced part controllers are only ones and zeros if you use a multiplier gate let's put that there and then let's say we'll use a button and the button will be between the values of 5 and 1 and we'll stick that there so let's say that the let's multiply the add gate by the button, which at the moment is just one, and of course the z velocities of the hoverballs to the multiply gate instead of the add gate. So while it's set to one, it's not really changing anything. Oh crap! That was unexpected. <coughs> so if we look at the speedometer, which just measures speed in any direction, as we see when we go up, it's only a speed of four. If we go down, it's only a speed of four as well. So if I get out and I change the multiplier to 5 instead of 1 and then get in <coughs> when we move up the speed is 21 and we move down of course it's also 21 and that's that's why I have balls really that's how you're supposed to make them go up and down obviously you don't need to have a button here you could just use a constant value or any other method you see fit but that is essentially what you need to be doing with vehicles if you're using hoverballs. If you want to be using something else, I'm not sure what you would need to use the uh, the set Z target business for. What I use it for is on my seeker bot, but that's a that's a bit um a bit more complex. That I'll be doing another tutorial because as of now I have actually run out of things to talk to you about and teach you. So get your requests in. Tell me if you want to cover anything. If you want to say I don't understand what the any of these things are, please explain them in greater detail. I'll do it. Just get your requests in and I'll try my best to cope with them. Now, as you all know, I've just edited a huge chunk of video out there because I was rambling about nothing. So, thank you for watching and good night. I'll see you next time and don't forget to get your requests in.